The Hundreds Charts game is an excellent math game created by Joe Schwartz. What you'll need to play is a blank 10x10 grid and two different colored pens. Before you begin, fill in the bottom left square with a 1 and the top right square with a 100. Gameplay is fairly simple. Players will take turns using their colored pens to fill in different squares on the number chart. To score a point, you must get four of your numbers in a row. Once you get that, go ahead and put a line through it and then mark a tally to keep track of your score. Players can score either horizontally or vertically or even diagonally. The game continues until the whole numbers chart is full or there are no more possible sequences. At this point, the player with the more tallies wins. Some frequently asked questions include, can you cross lines? Yeah, you can cross your own lines or if you and your opponent cross diagonally. Is five in a row worth two sequences of four? No. You can only use one number from a different sequence to add to a new one. However, you can use one tile from multiple old sequences to form a new sequence. Some helpful strategy for kids include, after deciding where you want to play, find the nearest filled in number and count from there. In this example, 56 is filled in. We can count backwards 55, 54, and then fill in 53. If you go vertically, remember that going up or down one box is equal to adding or subtracting 10. So in this case, we got 66, 76, and finally 86. When students get more familiar with the game, they may realize that a good strategy to employ is counting the rows for the tens place and the columns for the ones place, at least for the first nine columns. Using this method, you can easily see that the 20s row in the 4 column gives you 24. Variations of this game include using different numbers. For example, you can put 256 on the bottom left and 355 in the top right. I think that you'll find this game very engaging and encourages students to think strategically while getting more familiar with the hundreds chart. I hope you enjoyed this game and find this video tutorial helpful.